Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy. I'm going to do a quick little walk around and commentary on this 2018 BMW 640i Grand Turismo. Really, it's a hatchback. Uh, now, we're not supposed to use that word, particularly uh, when we're looking at a higher-end car, but basically that's what this is. And, as the saying goes, not that there's anything wrong with that. Sedans, uh, as many of you probably already know, are not selling very well. Um, and that includes the perennially best-selling Toyota Camry and Honda Accord, uh, both of which have been recently redesigned and have not been selling uh, as well as they probably ought to be. And um, you probably have also heard uh, that Ford is going to do away with pretty much all of its passenger sedans. And I personally think that has to do with the limited practicality of most sedans. Um, even the larger ones, like the Camry, uh, only have about a 15 cubic foot trunk. And then if you go look at, say, even a 5 series or a 7 series sedan, uh, the trunk space is not that great. Now, look what you get here instead with the Gran Turismo slash hatchback. And by the way, I hate that they, they, they damp these things. Uh, they essentially assume everybody's gimpy, these hatchbacks, and can't just pick it up and open it. Uh, it has to be on a, a compression-loaded rod, and then it has to go down on a damping mechanism of some kind when you push an electric button, because people are too feeble, apparently, to open and close a hatchback themselves. Now, granted, there are people out there who have difficulty with it. don't mean to make fun of them, and I think it's fine that such uh, features are available for people who do need them, but I'm not gimpy. A lot of people out there are not gimpy. I'd much prefer to be able to just throw the thing open and throw it closed instead of having to stand here and wait while it opens or so slowly, closes or so slowly. Anyway, uh, end rant. I just wanted to point out that before I get into looking at the rest of this thing. So if you look at how much space you've got inside this Gran Turismo slash hatchback and compare it to what you would find in the uh, analogous uh, sedan, the 5 Series sedan, you can see why people might want to buy this thing over a 5 Series sedan, particularly if it's going to be their primary car, their family car. Uh, the 5 Series is a wonderful car, uh, but it's kind of tight as far as putting stuff in the trunk goes. You only got so much room. With this hatchback layout, just like any other hatchback, oh, Gran Turismo, you can drop those back seats and you've got this cavernous space that opens up. In fact, it's big enough that even a big geek like me can actually lay down back there with an air mattress and crash out. Uh, so that, that tells you something about the practicality of this car. Now, of course, that too is kind of a dirty word uh, when we're talking about high-end cars like this. And this one that they sent me is loaded up and it stickers for more than $80,000. So that's a lot of money to spend on a hatchback. Oops. Can't say that. So that's why uh, they're marketing this thing as a Gran Turismo. It sounds sexier. People feel better about it. Um, it's fundamentally about a marketing angle rather than just being straight up about it and saying, look, this is a more practical way uh, to, uh, to get around. Um, but we don't want to talk about practicality when we're spending lots of money. We want to talk about sexy things and entertaining things. Anyway, I will have more up at epautos.com about this car as well as a number of other things. Let's uh, conclude by watching the gimpy thing close. And again, I'm not, I'm not slamming BMW specifically for this because they all do this. All the cars that have this hatchback layout now have the gimp pull. So look, instead of just being able to slow, slam the thing down and be on my way, I have to push the little button and then there it goes. There it goes, nice and slow for safety. Anyway. End of rant. More up at epautos.com. Thanks for viewing. We'll catch up with you again soon.